Hi, Seamus Bruce here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 13, and since last episode, Factorio has updated to version 1.1, so this means, yeah, this says, I don't, I'm guessing a lot of these have to just deal with mods I I haven't even really gotten to yet, so yeah, there, there we go, and also this solution doesn't actually work, so I'm just going to change it back to the original. Actually, there's a better option I can do than just the original, because, yeah, the problem is I was only utilizing one half of the belt, so what I can actually do is I'm going to change these back to regular inserters, and, um, and then just do it like this, or actually, no, I, I can, I can, instead of doing that, I can actually do this, oh, no, it's just, the new update does that, or, it places underground belts. It's normally really useful, but in this case, it's not. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna fix this. Oh no, oh no. I, I, I messed up the whole thing. Uh, oh man, how far is this? Oh god. Uh, it's here, it's here. This is the first copper. Oh man. Hate I want to do this. Now I have to get all of this. Uh, this is this is the root of the mistake. You can just see how hey, these little things make a big difference, and I knew this was gonna happen. There's still copper getting in. This is really bad, and my inventory is full, and I can't do anything about it. Actually, I can make some wooden chests. I think. Nope. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Or now it does something. This is how I'm emptying my inventory. This is the most inefficient method ever. But at least, at least I can I can actually empty my inventory at least somewhat with this, and I can hopefully just restore order. In this, yeah, this cut run ferret build is just re really bad. I I feel like what what the just the long term solution is. I'm just gonna have to really have to manage everything. I'm I'm just gonna use the normal um, instead of using cut run ferret. I'll like, I'll try to use up all the cut run ferret drive stuff, and then I will use the, like, regular stuff. So, see if there's any more copper in the spelt. Doesn't look like there is any more, so I think I'm good. Also, this needs to be fixed slightly. I just need to do this. Not that big of a deal at this point, but... Oh, yeah, I can see this actually goes into the... To the right or I guess I don't really want that so I will just I'll fix that just so like eight eight can go to the left eight can go to the right and yeah I think this is now mostly fixed and why is there now copper here oh, come on why is this why can't I just do this correctly uh, what is this seriously why is there copper Really do not know where the copper came from. It's even here in the steel ones. Oh man, this is just bad. This is really bad. I re I've really I've really messed up. I just feel like all I'm doing is just trying to repair the the big mess I've made. That's literally it. I guess now I just have to go back to that and pick up all the copper. And I guess this is where I can put all my copper ore. I had so much copper ore that I, st I still have some left, even after this whole thing. And that's the last of the copper, so... <sighs> Hopefully, I'm done with these little stupid problems now. Also, speaking of stupid problems, this looks like a stupid problem, I'm guessing. So, yeah, let's actually start 
actually progressing in the game. Let's see what we can actually research, because, yeah, I actually want to be researching stuff rather than fixing stupid problems that I have created for myself. So, let, let's see what's a good one. Solar energy is pretty nice, but it's extremely expensive. I could just go for a military one, and that will help with certain things. I could try to get stronger explosives one, but the problem is I need military science for stronger explosives two, which means I can... I want to be able to, to chop down trees with just one grenade, and maybe that's what I should be doing. I mean, there is a... It's just a hard choice to make. It's a couple of modded stuff as well, but I don't really want to focus on modded stuff. I do not need railways yet. This will be extremely important late game, but this is not late game. Something I could do is fluid handling, which is a prerequisite for many other things. So I'll, I'll do fluid handling first. And I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start focusing on trying to make stuff for military science. So this is going to be like... Uh, I cannot, I cannot try. I'm so used to having, like, later game stuff that will make this easier. Like, I don't even, I mean, actually, I think I have unlocked, yeah, have unlocked medium and large electric poles, but, uh, yeah, I'm still just using the small ones for everything now, and it's really annoying. So, what, I, what I'll do is, well, actually, I could try to research landfills. I'm not sure where landfills are. Um, let's see. Isn't that what I was trying to do? Actually, it's already researched. Um, so that's, that's useful. Um, because landfill is just one, st one stone for 20 landfill, and I'm definitely going to be filling this up. Actually, no, it's not, it's not even landfill I'm trying to get. I mean, landfill would be useful, um, but I really want cliff explosives. That will be way more useful. And to get cliff explosives, well, I need fluid handling, I think, because if you go here, I need oil processing, then sulfur processing, then explosives, and then finally, um, this one is cliff explosives. And, yeah, it, it requires explosives, which I think requires like oil, um, some sort of oil product, so I'm not going to really be doing that yet. I think a better strategy would just be going for military science. I don't see why I would not go for military science, and I'll just, yep, I've already gotten fluid processing. So let's let's get oil processing going. I gotta see which ore actually cracks into sulfur, because that because I need to make explosives. I need one coal, one sulfur, and water. How you normally get sulfur in the vanilla game is water and petroleum, which means I need oil. And, I mean, I could just use oil, but I could also try to go another route. Like, if I was to get oil, I'd probably go out here. This is a good oil patch. And, and use that. But, or I could go up here and get some oil. But, I may want something a little closer to the bus. The other thing I could do is the sulfur carbonate. Which, uh... Yeah, that's the only sulfur carbonate. It's way up north, which means I may actually just want to go the regular oil route with this because I don't unless there's another ore that that cracks or that not not cracks but like that splits into sulfur. If I search sulfur, the only two I see are regular sulfur and sulfur carbonate. So I think I'm actually gonna want to go the oil route just because. The oil is slightly closer to the bus, I think, like this is closer to that, and I don't need some crazy ore splitting, even though oil has its own crazy stuff. Actually, there is silver carbonate here, I didn't even notice that, and that's even closer, so I'm probably going to want to get this silver carbonate, which means I will want to want to eventually research the silver carbonate splitting, or even is this? It's like, how far down? No, it's right here. What do I need? Oh, I just need silver. Okay, I'm, I'm already getting it. So in the meantime, I'm going to be going for military science, because this will be very useful in taking out biters. And somehow I missed a belt here, so yay. Hopefully the last one I missed. I'm just going <laughs> to go over this just to see. It looks like this is the last one I missed. Okay, so for military science, what do I need? I need, um, well first I, I, I should probably go to the, the military science here. I need piercing rounds, grenades, and walls. Um, to make walls, what you need is 
just oh, where, where where even is it? It's in a realtor. Um, it's just stone bricks. That's pretty easy. To make grenades, you need coal and iron. So I have. Actually, I do not have coal on the bus. That's probably the next thing I want to do. And to make piercing rounds, you need copper, steel, and firearm magazines. And this is just iron. So I have basically all of the raw ingredients except coal. And I can just put coal on the bus by. Um, I just like th this will be this last line here. Like I, I, I've ha I've I've planned for this. I have really planned because these usually these can, you can de you can definitely get away with one line here. And if I'm going to need more lines, the bus is going to be very wide. So I can just use that. Also with copper, I think I will actually try to switch to four lanes of copper because late game copper is going to be used a lot more than iron, which I haven't really realized before. So. Yeah, let's actually, this were, um, I can probably just, where's the coal? It's here. I can probably just split this, like, here, and do this. Yeah, that works, even though it's kind of spaghetti-like, but we love spaghetti in Factorio. Um, I'm going to also need to do it here, so I can do this, and this will just empty here, and this will be the coal on the bus. So this is how I'm going to make grenades. Okay, so oil processing is not finished, which means we're going to do sulfur. It's 150 of each science, but that isn't too bad at this point. Um, military science will eventually... I'm not exactly sure where the build is going to go for military science, but I can start working on its components. So the components I'm probably just going to like transport like here. Like, I'm just going to go a little west and then up, and this is where the military science will be. And I guess I want to start crafting some assembling machines. I can also craft tier 2 assembling machines at this point, which means that they'll, they'll be faster, but they, they take more power, and I don't really need that. I'd rather just use a higher physical quantity of them. Yeah, I'm just going to get some get the materials I need, craft a few, and I think this is where the actual military science will be, or at least the build for it. I also realized that music hasn't even been on this whole time because I usually play Factory with that music, but I'll be doing it with music for the series. So, yeah, it takes two walls, which means, like, um, well, actually, I'm going to want an output and an input. So, um, the output would be a little sketchy with these um, with these cliffs here, so I have to I have to be aware of that. I mean, the output can be here. Okay, so this is like the prototype for, or this is like the final build for military science. So I can just copy this, and this is where the inputs will go. The outputs will go here. I can use an underground belt to transfer the outputs. Or to like merge it into one, and where? How, how far do I need to go? To not be influenced by this cliff, I need to go all the way out of here. Yay! And the walking is so slow. Also, I can I can use a couple of fast inserters here for this lab because I'm, I'm definitely gonna need fast inserters. Um, this will be military science, so I will have it like this. Um, here is where that automation or that quality of life feature comes really handy. Puts it underground right under the um, <laughs> the, the electric pole, and boom! This is where all of the military science will go. So now I need to just craft its ingredients, which is easier said than done. Okay, now sulfur processing is complete, and now I can um, do explosives. So yeah, I'm just rushing straight to cliff explosives because I really, I really want cliff explosives at this point. And yeah, so the ingredients for military science, um, one of these will be walls, the other will be uh, grenades and um, what are the piercing rounds. So what I could do is walls can be, I guess, the one on the right doesn't really matter at this point. I'm just going to extend these kind of far because I may want to 
increase the size of this build because six will not be enough like later on. So I'm just gonna do it like this. This will be where the walls go, and this can be where the other stuff goes. So I'm crafting the walls. I can probably do something like um, at least for now when. I do not have cliff explosives. I can just use a smaller build like this. Four is definitely going to be enough um, for walls. I, I really shouldn't be like, oh, this is not going to be enough. I'm like, for, for walls, four is a lot. And my underground belt cannot traverse these cliffs because it can only it can only go four underground. Which uh, is there any is there any way I can actually? These are all diagonal, which means I can't do it. Later on, I unlock red belt. Actually, no, I I can't get red belts at this point. These can go six underground, which means I can I can traverse the cliffs. <sighs> I, I, for whatever reason, I did thought I did not have red belts unlocked, but yeah, I will not normally be using red belts, especially at this point. But I guess like I, I can use them in a pinch. Like I'm gonna I'm actually gonna craft them again here. So now explosives, cliff explosives. So I'll not be able to craft these in a while, but it's useful to know that I even have them at all at this point. So I guess I could just continue this build um, next episode because I think this episode is getting pretty long. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.